Oh. Hey, it's Walt of Inusen at the B&H 50th Anniversary Build Expo. I am with Kyle, which is going to be the first time trying on an easy rig with the new update. I'm going to be the prop. We are recording behind the scenes back there with the ZVU E10. FX3 is the main camera, and we have an FX3 that is mounted on the easy rig. So I'm going to be doing some behind the scenes. He's also going to talk about the updates. All right. My name is Kyle Hyperdin. I'm with 16 by 9 I'm the sales manager. Uh, we're a distributor in the United States for Easy Rig. And uh, yeah, I'd like to show you what we have. Are you happy to be at the b and Of course. Before? Yes, very much so. <laughs> it's the end of the day, I gotta be honest. I know, I tried to get you earlier. Yes, sir. All right, let's go, uh, so I'll follow your direction. Yeah, please, so come on over here. This is our lightweight system. The Mini Max holds five to 15 pounds. Essentially, what it is is a uh, spring power camera system. So there's spring power power pack in the back, comes up, and powers the line. And essentially you can adjust the tension in the back here. So you go ahead and do the waist too. Get that nice and tight if you can. That's where all the power is gonna come from, all the support from your core. Perfect. Now this is the newest feature up here, this uh, turret looking thing. This is our uh, Seville arm. It's an articulating arm. Um, you can adjust the spring here. So essentially what this is for is for gimbal work or anything where you're moving, follow shots, things like that. Um, it's gonna take the footsteps off as it bounces. So let's try it out with a gimbal. I'm gonna have you hold it first, just so you can get an idea of the weight. So that's about 15 pounds right there. And then now here. Now this accessory that we're using with the ring is the easy tilt. That essentially allows for nice tilting shots up and down and allowed to free fall. Come on, bring it on up there. Now you can see how all the weight has basically disappeared and it's been distributed across your waist and your back. And so the idea is that now the camera's floating there. And so you have, you have this uh, ability to get shots and angles and tilts. All right. So what you should be feeling is basically Follow me, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of pressure around your waist, but mostly all the weight's gone. It's been distributed across the vest and through the line here. So the feature that I was talking about is the articulation. So as you move, you can kind of get the footsteps. And as you follow me, you're gonna kind of see that those get taken out. And along with the gimbal and the easy tilt, you're getting a really, really smooth shot. A lot less work in post, I suppose. And then you can do some cool tilt shots downs and ups. So all in all, this is a really nice tool for users who are gonna be shooting long days. And they don't wanna be like this all day. Saves your back. So the easy tilt attaches to the ring with these spindles. Um, they come in two different sizes. They have inserts, uh, 30 millimeter and 25 millimeter. And that way you can use a variety of rings. They have tilt rings, all sorts of different rings. Right now we have a Flocini CF ring on there. Uh, that's a carbon fiber build, uh, comes with feet and all sorts of stuff. But uh, it works well with our RS, as you can see uh, with these shots. But the balance of everything is that we move around and as you kind of follow me, and we'll go back and forth and the footsteps really get taken out. And that's kind of the idea is that um, as you move, the machine takes out all that movement. So we'll come back over here and I can take it off if you're... Uh... Let's do uh, the book back. Yeah, so definitely come on down. So we're also distributed for Orca bags. Um, they make a wide variety of accessories for camera and for video. This is our newest line, the DSLR line. We have uh, lots of different backpacks. This is our quick shot backpack. All of them have inserts. You're able to adjust, they're Velcroed in. So you can set up your whole thing. This will fit a gimbal and your camera. Comes with a nice little rain pouch inside. This will probably fit somewhere around an iPad. And then you have your SD card holders at the top. What's nice about it is the quick draw features. So you can pull your camera from the top or you can pull your camera from the side here, just like that. Now it opens all the way out so that you're able to really, really get the customization. 
It has an expansion slot here that you can just basically unzip and allow to get a little more room. And then in the back, laptop sleeve. All nicely padded, support system, and a luggage strap. back. And that's the OR536. This is another new bag. This is the 518. It's all aluminum framed in the back. You got a trolley handle in the back. Backpack straps that tuck away. Nice roller skate wheels, padded bottoms for those curbs, handles on the side. The really nice thing is the inside. So it's deep enough for your lenses, for your cages. If you want to put a camera in fully built, it has these nice straps here, access to that, access here. These are also all customizable. Orca has different um, rigidities of their dividers. So you can get a soft one for your lenses, hard ones for your other accessories. Straps across, I'm gonna tuck everything in nice and tight. This is the other size, the 516. Same features, just in a smaller package. Um, we like to say airline uh, carry-on capable, but um, all depends on what you like. It all depends on who you fly with, right? Same features. Same features. Um, one thing I didn't show you, another one that this also has slots for the SD cards right in here, and then there's also a charger. So basically, it comes to the outside. So you can put your battery in here sit on your luggage, charge your phone from the outside. All with this nice backpack in the front too. Now we have water bags, sandbags, all types of nice things. Um, these are really interesting because essentially you buy a bladder, there's always either gonna be sand or water where you're going. So the ability to fill this up with either water or sand, really interesting. You guys need sound bags too, right? Sound bags too, yeah. We, uh, oh, here's, here's the newest iteration. It's horizontal, so you're able to throw it over a tripod like, like here. Both with two slots, so you can get two of these bladders on either side. It's a great feature. Sound bags, we have obviously this 280 here. And then that's coming with the 370 on the back. That's our newest uh, waste, uh, hmm, waste pouch holder. It's got roller skate wheels, four attachment points, and it's a, uh, so basically that's what uh, Ofer calls them, but it's a, it's a quick release system. So you're able to just tightly adjust this and then to release, you pop it off. Almost like ski boots. Ski boots, maybe that's what I meant. But yeah, it's nice. It's a nice option for. I actually have an Orca bag. I, I got the Orca bag. I think uh, I got really good views on YouTube. Oh really? Yep. So yeah, they're they're great bags. They all open up entirely like flowers. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you yeah, just yeah. you have one that's made for front, three, three. Mix three. Yeah, I think this one might. This one fit a mix three, three, but mix three ten as well, I believe. But yeah, you got your boom pole holders. They're great bags. Great sound bags. Right so. Uh, Oh, the FX3? Oh, this is the Minimax Stable Light. First time using it. How do you like it? I feel natural, right? Yeah, is it? You see me do it stuff. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty intuitive. I mean, once it's on too, it doesn't feel like it's- You go with that box over the left. Yeah, sure. So we represent a whole bunch of different companies, but uh, those are the main ones. Stuff. So we have Noga Arms. Use the bottle. Oh, look at you. <laughs> How is it? Uh, it's interesting. A lot of adjustments. Yeah. A lot of adjusting. I never used this before either. You have an FS7, right? FX9. FX9. Be, be FX9 with an Ingenue Easy 2. She's using a Vario 5, a Vario 5 Gimbal Flex vest. A stable G3. 
Yeah, yeah, there's no more. Yeah, no, no, no. they're saving you back, right? And that pack will hold between 11. This right here. Say again? Oh. Let's talk about these bigger there. Yeah, so these are Noga arms. Um, they're fully articulating. Basically for monitors, any sort of lightweight uh, equipment. So these will hold anywhere between like, you know, a monitor weight, so maybe like two, three pounds. Heavy duty ones. These heavy duty ones, this one in particular will hold 33 pounds. They have a smaller version as well that'll hold 55 pounds. And if you have the very longer version, that'll hold 22 pounds. Very long version. Uh, I believe it's about 30 inches. I'd have to check, but that one, these are our power arms. They're all hydro dry hydraulic, turn in. They have baby pin mounts with quarter 20 thread on the inside here. Yeah, so do you That's think those are longer than what I have on my stand now? Oh, definitely the longer one is. They're definitely longer. No, you do it. I need longer. This is the Manfrotto one right here? Yeah. You just said the same as Manfrotto? You can definitely get longer. I mean, well, we have one that'll be up here. That's the one, that's the highest one. It's, I mean, like from here to here, we're talking like this big. It's real long. It's fully open, right, straight up. How much can I hold? 22 pounds. Vice President. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't know there's a company that makes longer ones. I have Manfrotto, I got Matthews. I, okay. I, told, I didn't know there's longer ones. I use those as a way for me to be able to get weight they have yeah. a real feed camera. Right. You see, huh? That's the longest thing you know. And those don't hold enough weight. Well, then this might be the answer for you. Dry hydraulic, you got the mount, so you'll be fine there. And then we also represent a pat uh, chart company. So these are our uh, 4K charts. Uh, Pratt de Tourneur is a French company who we represent, distribute for. They make a pocket kit for the uh, photographer on the go. You got a gray balance, white balance, sharpness card, a line chart. And essentially what you would do is be able to throw these up on cars. They're magnetized. So light poles, wherever you're shooting, you're able to just get a quick balance, quick check the lens. They also make frame leaders and of course our mega sharpness card. Make, uh, email plates. So this pages, is well, yeah. So this is Optimus. Now this is our DSLR, DSLM cage. So these are fully universal cages. They all use a three millimeter pin, fully adjustable. You can take it all apart, slide it. I could add a second one on here and just have a, a big tall top handle. So this will fit most of your cameras. You have the accessory cage here for your righties. Because it's universal, you can flip it over, go lefty. You have your plates on the side and these are all interchangeable. So if you want, you can take and add a cheese plate. You can add your mounts to the back. If you have an RS system, you can mount it to the back here, swap it out and then get all your neat little accessories and extensions. What's really nice about these systems is you would essentially buy a top plate, a proprietary top plate and bottom plate for your camera. And then all the other side accessories to build your cage are universal. So you can buy one top plate, one bottom plate, and then just have a bunch of different cameras and use the accessories on your different, different builds. So this is a great company. Newly offered, everything's hard anodized, so you're not gonna scratch it anytime soon. Um, they have them all for the major cameras. So this one here would be for a kimono, sit on top of a kimono red. And then you got your power and your batteries, everything like that. So these are the, uh, oh. Okay. Are you going to finish up in the mirror? Oh, yeah, boy. I just have one more. Yeah. Okay. Let's do my hip. So these are our uh, keep on. Yep. Coming in? Let's get this thing to me. You see something? I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> I need my glasses. Okay. <laughs>
All right, perfect. So these are our uh, keep on lens extenders, two times lens extenders, PL mounts and LPL, we have both. So what this allows you to do is in a lightweight way is extend your lens. One of the cool features is they have a back focus. So you're able to adjust for your back focus, which is not something that most extenders offer. And these are new from us. We have PL and LPL. Is that what the name of the company is? Yeah, Keep On. Keep On is the name of the company. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, umbrellas, but. So this is our uh, city umbrella. Um, I look pretty nice. For those rainy days. One of the coolest features is we rounded off all these corners so you're not stabbing them in the eye, but it also adds to the flexibility of it. So this is able to uh, take a little bit of wind, but the metallic finish on the inside essentially allows it for, to be a lot more cool. And, uh, you know, in a spot, it could be a quick bounce <laughs> yeah. if you need it. Do with the light. But, uh, well, this isn't our light. This is just to show the features of the inside. Yeah, just an accent light. Definitely. Excuse us, Ofer. <laughs> you can hold up. Yeah. All right, so this is uh, Kyle with 16 by 9 here with Walter. Uh, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> I'm waving at somebody. Awesome. You want me to get you out of that?